Can you really connect cloud-based BI tools to a lakehouse architecture? Hi, I'm Frank from Databricks. This webcast is teaching you what you need to know to connect Looker with Delta and how to create Looker dashboards based on Delta tables. In this tutorial, you will learn how to build your first dashboard. We will work with Looker views and dimensions and measures, and we will use models and explores. This is a how-to tutorial that assumes you follow along and you know some basics. However, there are many introduction resources available to get you started. So for those who aren't familiar, Delta Lake is an open format transactional storage layer that forms the foundation of a lake house. Delta Lake delivers reliability, security, and performance on your data lake for both streaming and batch. A lake house combines the best elements of data lakes and data warehouses. With the lake house, you continue to use the cheap, virtually unlimited, and highly available cloud object stores such as Google Cloud Storage. But the lake house is more than a data lake. A lakehouse supports unstructured, semi-structured, and structured data. The lakehouse architecture is built on Apache Parquet, seamlessly integrates with Apache Spark, and provides reliable semantics with asset transactions, schema enforcement and evolution, scalable metadata handling, SQL support, versioning, time travel, as well as deep or shallow clones of your data. And all this is based on open source Delta IO. There are a number of great Google webcasts out there teaching you Looker, such as this introduction to Looker video. Links to all these external resources mentioned here can be found in the blog posting that accompanies this webcast. This blog posting is referenced in the description section of the webcast. Make sure you got access to Looker. Looker is not part of the free GCP trial. Use the GCP console and search for Looker. And unless you already have one, request a demo. Once you've got access, verify that you can log in. To access Delta tables later, we need a database connection. So go to Databases, Connections, click on Add Connection, give the new connection a name. I'll take Frank underscore Looker underscore Databricks. Choose the right type. We want to connect to Apache Spark. Now we need the host, we need the port number, and we need those additional parameters. To get those values, change to the Databricks notebook, go to Cluster, go to Advanced, and then select JDBC ODBC. And this is basically where you can copy the host name and the port number. Let's copy them. Let's add the port number. And for those additional parameters, what we do is we go to the official Databricks documentation for the integration of Databricks and Looker. If you click on the documentation and scroll down a little bit, you will see those parameters. Now copy the parameters, which is actually only the first part of what we need. Paste them here. Now the second part is the HTTP path. Copy it from the workspace. Paste it. Database is default, username is token, and for the password, actually, we need to create a token. So go to the top right corner, which is the account setting, go to settings, generate a new token, give it a name, copy the token, make sure you don't lose it, and paste it here. Now, last but not least, test the connection. Voila, the connection is 
working, the test is successful, add the connection. Assuming that you don't have your own data already, the next module is explaining how to create data in a delta table that we can later use to, well, use to build dashboards in Looker. We use a Scala notebook here, and for this demonstration, we create our own small data frame. We define a path to store the data frame, and then we write it back in the delta format. It's written now. We, we show it once more as a table structure. You can see it here. And then we read it in the delta format, and we create a temporary view with the name team scores. Once we have this view, we can also use SQL and do a select star from team scores. And then we write it back in delta format and we save it as a table. The table name is GCP Frank scores. Now it's also available under data under scores. This is the scheme of the table. And you can also see some sample data. So based on a Scala data frame, we created a delta table with a schema and with content. And exactly that delta table we want to access now from a Looker dashboard. To create your first Looker dashboard change to your Looker account, go to Develop, select New LookML Project, give it a name, Then select the database connection that we just defined. GCP Frank was the schema. Click on Create Project. It will create a model view of what is behind your database connection. So we click on the model. You see this YAML representation of the data. And you also see the views. Now the views represent the tables and you see the scores view which is the delta table that we just created. So under Explore, you can get to the same view. You can explore the view. You can use dimensions and combine those dimensions and define what you want to visualize. You click on Visualize and you get this bar diagram. And then you can also select a nicer color palette. And finally, if you like it, you just say save as dashboard. You create a new dashboard. You give it a name. Confirm it. Oops. Confirm it. And save it as a dashboard. Now, if you click on the dashboard, you can see the dashboard, obviously, and you can still explore what is behind the dashboard. Explore from here. You can rearrange your data or filter your data. If you're creating visualizations for Looker, you're dealing with dimensions and with meshes. Now dimensions are columns from a table and meshes are like SQL aggregates like sum or min or max. To create a visualization, I take two dimensions like the type of crew member and the number. And if you click Run, it retrieves the data. It's showing the data in a table. You click on Visualization, and you can see how many of each group are taking part in the expedition. If you switch to this pie chart, it's not possible to draw it because it says incompatible data. And it's actually mis missing a measure. Now, to create a new measure, go to LookML, and let's edit the file, the YAML file, directly. What you do is you add a new measure, which is sum in this case. You save the changes. Go back to Polar Crew. We select the new measure. On visualization, click pie chart again. Run the data. And it's working now. Let's change to a nicer color palette and let's save it to the dashboard. Then let's rearrange the dashboard to make it look nicer. And that's it. You created your second visualization and let's just give it proper names.
So far, everything we've been doing with Looker was in development mode, but we can configure Git for version control. So this is a more complete example that I was doing offline. And what you see here, if you go to settings, that Git is already configured. So if you scroll all the way down, it shows the remote origin URL. And so this is a versioned dashboard. This is the GitHub site, and it's showing you the views that are committed to GitHub and that can be versioned. And back to the example, if you go to development mode, now it's turned on. On the top left corner of the screen, you see it's running in development mode. This means whatever I do now, all the changes are applied to a local copy that I have, and I can switch back to production mode that will show me again the production version of my dashboard. And that's it. Congratulations. You built your first dashboard directly accessing our data lake.